uh, going up against him. So we'll see. I love Pitt in this game. I think Pitt this is one of the best iterations, if not straight up the best iteration of Pitt, the most fun. Looping arrows, edge guarding with arrows, like most control uh, of the arrows that he gets. He, he just had a lot of expression uh, for fun. One of the best projectiles in the game right here. And look at him already locking it down. Uh, Hinkage versus Ark. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it's a very interesting game plan that we're going to see here for sure because neither of these characters really wants to box in the traditional sense. Pitt is more of a mid-range character and then Snake, Ooh. he's either very up close hitting his big powerful button or he's, you know, hucking grenades at you and trying to set up that Dacus. Nice. Oh, look at that. The wind box from the wings. You got to watch it all day. You get wing dash too, a little bit of movement, a little bit of wind box action going on. There we the go. Big, big hitboxes of Snake are going to be difficult for Pitt to navigate around. <laughs> All right, start counting the Dacuses. We're going to be seeing a lot of that out from Snake. That's a very strong move, trying to get rid of that up smash as well. Snapping the legs with the up B. You see pushing away the grenades, trying to play around with them. Hey, you might even take that hit. It didn't KO you, and now you're able to get up the ledge. Jab up tilt. Good confirm right there. Taking it down. It's such an interesting thing that this game has that other Smash games don't. Those little jab cancels. It's kind of like for those of you who have played Rivals, when you do a jab Ooh. and do a tilt. But it works for everything. Great use, actually, of the up B. Pull on the platform, use it to kind of like a Rob Booster burn, right? Go right up at him, right? <laughs> Try to think of a modern day, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Shooting right over the grenade, waiting out for it to explode. Very nice up there for Mark. Forward smash, though. Actually going to connect both hits to that close in. It's a good forward smash. Dash attack. Oh my god, waiting out the spot dodge. Great stuff there in the down air. This is good. This is a good pit play right here. Loop, loop. Loop Ooh. the arrow, please. Yeah. Arch is so comfortable in that mid-range game. Yeah, Recognizing, I think Hinkage is kind of swinging a little bit, trying to get him off, and it's just not working. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, he was looping the arrow. Did you see all that chat? <laughs> we all know about looping arrows. Come on. You love to see it. Okay, go to sleep, though. They're back air crossing up. Okay. Wing dashing away, positioning. I like it. This is that scary spot. So good at going high to recover, but can nice. you actually get back? Okay, F tilt. Delayed get up two. Snakes down throw a problem in this game as well. You already know. Four throw. Oh, yeah. All right, oh, what are we yeah. doing here? Again, sharking with those up airs, not working out too well. Hinkage is getting down kind of for free in these defensive situations, which allows that insane snake yeah. survivability to go even further. This is when Pitt had one of the best projectiles in the game on top of just being a fun new character. Like, I know everyone thinks of Pitt as like Mr. Honesty now, like yeah. Smash Ultimate Smash 4, <laughs> but in Brawl, like, he was honest by comparison to some of the top tiers in this game, but damn, he had some annoying shit. Those arrows are just ridiculous. It's like a Falco laser. <laughs> Plus, you can control it, so you can aim him down just slightly right there. It's terrifying. Look at to that. Look how good that is, man. And he just stalls with that up special. Make He's him out camping out. Snake right it's now, crazy. just to give you, just to give you contact. Whoop there, there boom, go. boom. <laughs> so, chat, you never lose control of Pit's arrow in this game. So, you can be driving Pit. Like jumping, moving around, and also controlling the arrow. Here they come, watch. He's going to make him rain down for sure. Here comes a loop. Hey, Ooh, there it is. There it is. Another. Hey, Whoa! Oh hey. my god, dude. It's raining arrows. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'll I'll pop it off. That's a beautiful so much. Bro, Pit. Pit. There are a couple characters in this game that are called like beautiful characters from like a Smash term. To me, it's Pit. Pit and Marth in this game are like perfect. Like they nailed those characters. Marth feels so unbelievably good in this game. I was playing at Supernova because you know we got all the Smash games there. Just hanging out with my friends, playing Loop. Brawl. Like I forgot how that was great. A, that was a two-piece combo. Loop arrow into a straight-up arrow, but the game is gonna go. I mean, the thing with the arrows is like, yeah, they're super annoying and you can zone with them well, but they don't do a ton of damage or anything. So yeah, but it's so cool. It's enough to force your opponent to do something. They're about saying it, there's right? no. Commentary. I hate everything. What happened? Uh oh. I'm going home. <laughs> no, it says you're on. Hello, chat. We're live. You're even bounce. You're bouncing the mic right now. It says there it is. <laughs> oh, there. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. I too am bouncing. Big Shay, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we got pulled. You this smooth call. Full screen is numbers. Come on. Where's the gameplay? What? Yeah, well, it's canceled. <laughs> he missed the first 18 arrows, aka 9% of the match. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, I like that little fake. Swing dash right there. You get the wind box out. A little bit of freaky movement. Ooh, speaking up. Forward zone. Pit, Pit's glide. Like, glides are so broken in this game, but Pit's glide is like one of the, one of the not great ones. Oh! Dak is right in your face. See ya. And now, finally. The Archmage gets, or Hinkage rather, gets to set up that, that more comfortable coverage in the corner. Nice. But those arrows, they're so good to get back onto stage. Great back air there. Sour spot, though. 
Like, you know, if you're playing Pit in 2024, you've got those arrows oh. on Waited out the air dodge, but just waited a little too long in order to get the punish. Down B here. So good, actually. Yeah, just plank him out. It's not time to redeem points, Chad. <laughs> yeah. That's all I got to say to you. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Up B again. I love Pit's up B was like, ooh. Oh, you see that little poke with the arrow? Okay, well? Nikita also not a move in this game, Chad. <laughs> it's just not, not a move in this game. It's so bad. Yeah, the buffs that got it, it might be one of the most buff moves of all time from, oh, for sure. from iteration to iteration. For sure, for sure. Dash tag, all right. Yeah, Dash is for the safety. Just FD is big in this game, by the it's way. It's so big. It's large. I mean, Snake is a big character, relatively, and he looks tiny on this stage. Down throw with the grenade, out yep. Out of the arrow, that was so good. Straight DI though. Able to get regain control of the character, throw out your arrows. Oh, cancels oh, the glide oh. actually. It's good placement, it. but not enough, man. Not gonna kill. See Sur ya. Survivability is just insane in this game. Because of momentum canceling, especially yeah. off the top, it's so hard to get those big confirms. Yeah, Hankage right now, nice lead here. Time to chill too. Obviously those arrows are annoying, but you can see you lob yeah. them. Like there's, yeah, there's some little like, intricacies that go into this matchup in terms of the projectile warfare. Oh, get off that grenade, nice. <laughs> if you charge the arrows, they do get stronger in this game as well. <laughs> so unfortunate, he tried to reflect the grenade and just popped up and landed on top of him. <laughs> now we're back into that neutral. Slight advantage here for Archmage. Trying to, or excuse me, for Hikage, trying to force the issue into the corner. That's where they've been getting the most damage, those corner pressure scenarios. Boom. Oh, you see the Boom. SCI chat? Rapid jabs don't connect like they do <laughs> in Ultimate. And this game's got that instant transmission DI. It does. <laughs> okay. Ooh, yeah, just cancel that out. And once again, like you were saying, out zoning uh, Snake in. Good. In brawl. Putting the pressure back on him. Nice punish right there, too. Like, Snakes, his tilts are so powerful. The shield pushback is crazy. But that down smash, uh, actually, from Ark was uh, connecting at, like, maximum distance. It's good good matchup knowledge. <laughs> Faking him out with the, the loop arrows. And honestly, I trust Arch to get those angles. I saw it earlier. You gotta be careful here. Grenades are falling away. Oh, jab, jab. Mm -hmm. Nice. Just a little check. Loop. You know, it's bait, bait. Oh. Yeah, it's a bait. You forward smash and you hit him with the arrow, but it's... It's kind of a tough bait because you have to be really good with looping arrows. Arc, arc is, obviously, uh, but the, the payoff is tough. The setups are so intricate here. Uh, save them, save them. Nice, Ooh. dude. Bro, these arrows are beautiful. Y'all don't understand, Chad. It's like a Link boomerang in that sense. Y'all don't understand. You get the grab, it doesn't matter. Okay, that was a mix-up, actually, from Arch. Has been rolling away there. This time, went back towards center stage and was able to get away with it because of that. Are getting a little foolish off stage now. Yeah, we tweet. I like just it. hanging out, you know, having a good time. Pit planking, you gotta be careful here. When you get to that boxing range against Snake and you're at like 150, it's just very, very dangerous. Oh, forgot about the C4. So easy to forget that. Forward air going to cancel the arrow. And now we're Oof. back into this, this fight for stage control. Yeah, the damage just gets out of control so fast against Snake. I mean, that's so it consistent does. across both Smash games he's in. Right, he feels like he's a nickel and dime character, but they're more like dollars. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> See the momentum carrying up there from Snake, the up air, one of his fastest options to do that, and then he can just up be out of disadvantage nice. after 26 frames. Up air, the funky angle after the SDI, straight horizontally off to the side. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Great grenade, actually, because it bounced right off a pit in front of him, so that the shield, even though he uh, you know, blocked the, or had his shield up, the grenade was put, pinning him down where he was. It was really good. Jab check him, though, anyway. Oh, Manages to get nice. the ay -ay -ay on him, taking that stock, but still loop. down 115. You can, actually, you loop arrows under FD if you're good enough. You can shoot really? him, but yeah, you can loop him underneath. There's space under the stage that you can loop underneath. It's crazy. All right, you hear that, Arch? I'm going to need to see that next time. <laughs> I'm sure you can do it. <laughs> It's hard though, because think about it, chat. Like you're controlling the arrows while you're still playing the game. Like there's a whole solid snake on the other side of the screen, yeah. throwing grenades and forward and forward to the chain grab. Okay, yep. Dash ends with a dash tag at the end. Nice. You kind of turn him into a puppet character Yikes. in that sense. These raw, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really interesting. There's no character quite like him when it comes to how he controls matches with his arrows and all that. But Ark going down a big O2 against Hinkage. Run it back. So no weird stages yet. We'll see how it goes. Running it back to the, the tried and true. Arch did look pretty comfortable on that stage, especially in the last stock. It just felt like Hikage ooh, ooh, ooh. got off to a good start. 
Do an upbeat on the ground, dashing out of it. Again, it's like a weird, funky move. Creates a wind box. He gets this weird movement burst out of it on the ground. Uh, he can use it to fly up, obviously. Like, it's really cool how, you know, the way it's intended to be used, I think, by design, is kind of how it is off stage here. You'll see him just activate yeah. it. He can fly. But when you use it grounded, it has interesting, weird properties that help it move around kind of crazy ways. It's fun. It's very fun. Yeah, it's a cool move. I definitely don't think that was the intended use, but it's there. We're going to use it. It's pretty sick. Arrows. Jumping yeah, and shooting arrows down is so good against Snake. Stops him from pulling grenades, and if he tries to crawl to beat it, you can still you can still aim it at the ground and get him. So. Yeah, it sets you up for a great angle there, for sure. Ooh, oh, wow. spot dodge! Punishing back, and again, just the Dak is up smash. The bread and butter in the corner. Set up those grenades as well. You want to force him high for that juggle. Ooh. Oh my god. Interesting spot dodge from Hinkage. Nice, aiming the arrow down. Oh my god, wing dash into forward smash. I love it. Off stage, Not threatening. Ooh, the grenade though. Hit him with a parcel pending wow. into the back air, and that's going to close out. What a back air, man. That was crazy. Dash attack into the Dacus cancel, like you were saying earlier. Loop. Keep it safe. Loop. Come on, where are they? Ooh, that's ooh, the other ooh, thing, ooh. is sometimes you just don't loop, but then that's a mind <laughs> game. Like you shoot an arrow away, oh, it's coming back. It's like no, when it's you're not. training a dog. If you give him a treat every single time, you take out the throw, yeah. Cool. Nice, great arrow to interrupt, actually. Oh, maybe it didn't actually. Oh, I couldn't hear. Now, this is an area where Arch has really been struggling. These high recoveries from Hinkage have been so uncontested. But then once you get into these lateral positions, it's a lot more comfortable. Watch that C4. I'm still waiting for that under the stage arrow. Ah, <laughs> he tried with the shield. That forward smash, I don't even know. Ah, oh, it's really, really close. That forward smash is amazing, but still snake heavy in this game as well, chat. Ooh, got the read, no! Arch went for that twice in a row now, and Dang. didn't get punished. Tried that down smash punish again on the up tilt on shield. Didn't work this time, I don't know if you need a better shield DI, or if something about it might have just been the pushback. Uh, he was a little further away that time would be my guess, so it was better spaced by Hinkage. Ooh, a little down air there. <laughs> I love that hitbox. That's the, that's the brawl Ooh. two frame there, just the snake up tilt. It's gonna catch something. Yikes. Yeah, we're going to the yep. That was a day one. Which character can go under FD? It was a lot of them in Brawl. Yeah, you only get to do that once, though, per the rule set. If you do it twice, that's considered planking. It's illegal. Something to keep in mind. You have to touch the stage first. Nice. Ooh, Wing dash down tilt clean. Forward smash getting interrupted, though unfortunate. That second hit could have set up for a nice lead trapping situation or edge guarding, more importantly, in Brawl. And now we're back to this. This is such a scary situation for Arch because you've been losing this, this nickel and dime game slowly but surely. Pin Cage has been pushing ahead and you're still stuck nice. in this position of what do I do other than spam arrows in neutral? You think of the, the fancy stuff with Pit, the looping arrows and all that, but some of it is just this. Do we shoot arrows high to block the grenades that are flying in a straight angle? Yes, jump, right. shoot the grenades, keep them on Hinkage's side of the field. Now we're looping. That's now we're, he's guessing. He's spot dodging because he thought, he thought a looped arrow was coming back. There you go. That's the mix up. Because now we can combo. You know, oh, oh, there it is. Oh, Dude, that was it's clean. So, you all don't understand, chat. You really don't. Forward smash. I love how smart that one was. Oh, my God. No oh, way. He chased him away. Come on. He deserved a kill for that. Bro. You got to be kidding me. You see the instant up air fastball come out there. That's the classic. There you go. There you go. There you go. But that, I, I smash anyway. I love that looping arrow that was approaching there because he'd been doing the high-low arrows like you were talking about over and over and over. Throws one looper and just approaches off of it. Yeah. I mean, that joint, the arrows do like three and a half, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm almost positive that's exactly how much it does. Well, let's test it in a second here. It's probably still, though, but. <laughs> well, it's tough to. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, hey, there we go. Three. So it did three. Yeah. But now the next one, if he goes does, to 18. Does it do four? Nah. Nah, I trust the vision. Chain grab. Neutral air at the ledge. Oh my god, he positioned so well around that, just barely missed. Oh Ooh. no, the last hit, barely yeah. living. Perfect DI though. Hit him with that boot. Ah! Oh, that good. Seat, up smash went all the way to the blast zone. And now you gotta deal with all this pressure in the corner as well. Pin Cage has a very clear win condition. Boom, boom, boom. Actually, I, honestly, like it might look bad for Arch, but it, he's been playing really well in the corner here. Agreed. Honestly, that hit isn't even that bad, because now at least you're out of the corner and all you took was a grenade. Oh, God. Watch your shield. Watch your shield. 
Has to retreat to the corner again, because like Hink, you said, worked pretty well. Hink is approaching too, he saw the shield was low. Snakes up tilt, snakes up tilt. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's dangerous stuff right there. It's up by Hink taking that one down, by the way. Um, Pit can be very tricky for Snake, but it's like, at the end of the day, I feel like Pit just needs to work so much harder than Snake uh, when yeah, it comes to that matchup. How you get kills, uh, you know, the arrow's only doing three, four, whatever, three and a half, I'm pretty sure. It's a lot of arrows. It's a it's a long yeah. battle for Pit in order to win, whereas, you know, Snake does his Snake stuff, where his yeah, damage is fun. crazy. He does it fun. He does it fun. <laughs> so, really good set, though. Damn, I love Brawl Pit.